to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So today, I'm finally going to be sitting down to test out the LA Girl Pro BB Cream. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me, like, which is a BB Cream that I recommend, or what BB Cream would I, would I recommend, what's my opinions on BB Creams, and I haven't used any BB Cream over the past couple of years of me do, being full on into makeup. I do remember... I once used a perfect match, perfect shade kind of situation. It was almost like a BB cream, but not really, um, from Almay. And that was, I think, the closest I got to using a BB cream. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see how this LA Girl Pro BB cream works out. And it says that it's an all-in-one skin beautifier. It primes, moisturizes, and enhances the skin. And it's paraben and fragrance free which is amazing actually now i have the shade medium deep and yeah without any further ado let's just hop into this video to see how this bb cream works out so it is in a squeezy tube so i guess you could kind of squeeze it onto your face for everyday wear i don't really know how much to apply so i'm going a little bit ham i'm gonna apply this with a foundation brush and let's see how it blends out It does feel very moisturizing. The coverage is definitely light to medium. Um, you guys can see how much coverage I've been able to achieve from my cheeks to my forehead. Um, it is a little bit light. I thought that medium deep was going to be like, you know, my perfect shade, even though it kind of does match my chest. I prefer something just a little bit darker, um, but that's okay. I think in terms of the shades, you just have to be careful which shade you're actually getting. I'm going to go in with the sponge and just make sure that there are no streak because this is a very moisturizing product. You can tend to get streaky on the brush. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You guys can see like some of my imperfections are still kind of peeking through. Some of my scarring and stuff is still peeking through. I want to say it looks like my skin but better. Like it just gives the skin such a nice natural-esque kind of look doesn't look too heavy it doesn't look too cakey it's definitely moisturizing because it's not clinging on to any dry patches or anything of that sort overall i'm really really liking the way it looks on the skin but we're gonna go ahead and complete the rest of the makeup now and i'm gonna do it on camera so you guys can more or less see what i'm doing um this is the allegal velvet bronzer stick in the shade suede and I'm going to be using this to just lightly bronze contour my face. This shade is actually a bit too light, but this is actually the darkest shade in the range. And I'm just going to blend this out with a sponge. I really like using this stick on a day-to-day -day basis because it doesn't look too harsh and too hectic where it looks like you know you went in and contoured your face and obviously if you're using BB cream you want to look a little bit on the natural side you know what I'm saying okay so once we blended out the bronzer contour situation I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade medium beige and with a light hand I'm just going to be highlighting under my eyes just literally where I have that darkness. We don't want to be like very light on the skin and then go heavy on the under eyes. It just, it's very counterproductive. I'm gonna take a little bit on the center of my face, slightest bit down my nose, and a little bit to just brighten up my upper lip and chin area. You guys can see how light I am going in with this concealer compared to how I usually do it. Big difference. Thank you. 
So this BB cream says that for best results, you should set it with a powder or wear it alone or under a powder. Now, I am just going to be setting the areas that I've contoured and highlighted. I just want to note that everything on top of this BB cream blends out really seamlessly. There's no patchiness. Everything is just in cohesion with each other. So I'm going to go off of camera and just set all the areas that I've highlighted and bronzed and I'll be right back. So I just finished off my makeup off of camera as well and I will say with regards to this BB cream it's like my skin but better. You know what I'm saying? It matches my neck really well. You guys let's just ignore the fact that I have a dark neck like whoa. nothing I can do about that you know. Um, but I really really like this BB cream. I can tell that it's like it's not drying off my skin. It is moisturizing. Um, and it just looks really good on the skin. It's a very light coverage from what I can tell, but I will say it's light to medium. I won't say it's just complete light coverage, it's light to medium. I just want to say that for those of you who don't like foundation, I think that this is an amazing product to invest in. The fact that it's only 65 Rand is also quite shocking because, I mean... This is a really good product, you guys. It's really, really good. You get 30 ml of products, so you get what you would typically get in a normal foundation bottle you get in here so I feel like for those of you who are on a budget and those of you who don't really like heavy foundations this is definitely the product for you now for me personally even though I have imperfections on my skin like I have redness here and here but you can't really see it peeking through because this is a light to medium coverage product so I'm not going to do a wear test for the entire day because I I don't think that a BB cream would last that long on my face, especially because I get oily in my T-zone area, so I might just do a blog post on So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, like my video, share with all of your friends. Don't forget to slay all day, every day with Avatar Makeup, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.